To beast or not to beast? That is the question today. Welcome to Kevin's Commentary on Comics. So today I happen to come across, thanks to the miracle that is the interwebs, a photo that was tweeted out from the makers, producers, I don't know, maybe the official Twitter account uh, for X-Men Age of Apocalypse. And it showed some behind the scenes or just some footage, pictures I should say, stills of the making of the movie as it's going on. And one of the key things to come out of this was one of this this photo here of Apocalypse that looks a lot better than the photos we saw from Entertainment Weekly from about a month or so ago where Apocalypse kind of looked like your average uh, Saturday morning live action cartoon type show, the villain from that. Um, you know, maybe Lidsville or um, I don't know. Power Rangers or something just wasn't that great but then they showed this one and he looked a lot more like he does in the comics but that is not really the focus of my uh, commentary today today I want to talk a little bit about the other photo that was shown which was of the beast kind of looking behind him and you can see that they are continuing to use the blue fur werewolf looking outfit that they've done for the last two movies uh, X-Men First Class and X-Men Days of Future Past. Now, let me preface all this by saying if you've watched any of my videos for any length of time, you'll know that the Beast is one of my favorite characters, you know, comic book characters of all time. Uh, loved him in the Avengers, loved him in the X-Men, and uh, have watched as he's evolved continuously to different types of characters, always wanting him to go back to the Perez slash Burn version of the Beast, which to me is my favorite. So when the movies came out, even going back to what I consider to be probably the worst X-Men movie ever, uh, The Last Stand, when Kelsey Grammer donned the blue fur of the Beast, I actually kind of liked that version. It was all right. He was an older Beast for sure. And then when I heard they were going to have him in the uh, the Beast featured in the, uh, the, the reboot of the X-Men series with First Class and then uh, the really excellent um, Days of Future Past, I was kind of stoked to see what they would do with the Beast as the younger Beast. You know, how quickly would he turn blue? Uh, actually happened in the first movie, as a matter of fact. And... Disappointed, though, uh, with the look of the Beast in these movies. Take a look at these pictures. I mean, really, he looks like a blue werewolf. Uh, he just doesn't doesn't look like any of the beasts that I have seen in the comics. I mean, you got plenty of versions of the Beast to deal with. Why did they go with this one? Which Let's, let's take a look at another famous furred movie character. Or maybe, maybe famous is a strong word, but let's look at Teen Wolf. Take a look at these two side by side. They don't look that much different. And hey, you change the hue on the Teen Wolf and boom, almost identical. Okay, almost. Not identical, but pretty close. You see what I'm saying. Just figured they could have done something more. And what could that more be? Well, how about some technology? Now, I know a lot of people are very have very strong opinions about CGI in their superhero or just movies in general. Some movies do take it too far i agree and there is a play for good old-fashioned hollywood style makeup artists in comic book movies or movies in general obviously but when you deal with certain characters from the comics that don't necessarily lend themselves to human form or you know makeup in general such as let's take for instance the hulk you have to cgi it and what they did with uh, the Hulk in the Avengers movies was fantastic. They've gotten to the point with CGI technology that they have the actor all decked out with the ping pong balls and everything like that on his head. And he acts out what the CGI version of whoever he's playing, in this case the Hulk, will do on the screen. So the facial characteristics, you know, raising the eyebrows, the mouth movements, all that's captured as the actor is doing it, but then just transformed in the cgi version and i think it looks really really good take another example james spader as ultron in the age of ultron movies who didn't know that was james spader when he came on scene yes you've got the voice which is obviously very giveaway 
but also the facial mannerisms that Spader has. He's got a very unique style in the way he delivers his lines and a lot of uh, facial movements and eyebrow raising and all that. All of that was perfectly done with the CGI for Ultron. You could almost say, you could almost take the argument that it was almost too good. That, you know, you, I was almost taken out of the movie a little bit because I knew it was James Spader and not necessarily Ultron. But that's that's kind of a minor complaint. Maybe take a couple of those ping pong balls off and, and you can even out that a little bit. I don't know. But why not do that for the Beast? The Beast is a large character. He's got a lot of muscles. He has longer arms, ape-like arms, so he can do all of his agility and his acrobatics and stuff. He uses his feet as hands. We can't see that happening in the movie version uh, of what we've seen in First Class and, and Days of Future Past. They just can't do that with the rubber gloves or whatever he's currently wearing. I think they attempted to do some of that, but it wasn't as convincing as would something you could do with CGI. We have the technology now. One of the reasons why we have as many comic book movies as we do is because of the technology. So let's not shun it or turn it away. Let's use it to our advantage. Let's get rid of the monkey suit. I just don't like it. And you know what else I don't like about the Beast? And have I said, or maybe I haven't said this, I really, really love both First Class and Days of Future Past. They are by far my favorite X-Men movies of them all, all five of them, but they're really, really good. I love the movies. I love the stories. I love everything they've done with them. I just did not like the way the Beast looked. The actor, uh, Kelsey Grammer was fine. The new actor playing the Beast, Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Holt, He's fine. There's nothing wrong with his acting abilities. It's 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 all great. He he actually plays a good version of the non-furred Hank McCoy. But I, the Beast version is just the you know the other thing I hate about it is the growling. Why is it because he looks like the Beast? Do they feel it necessary to dub in a lion growl when he's attacking someone? The Beast in the comics never does that, unless it's a storyline where he has devolved into a more bestial beast. He's usually shouting, oh my stars and garters, or something quippy or witty or something. He's not growling. It very rarely happens, and it just seems like that's because he looks like a wolfman, they gotta make him sound like a wolfman. I don't like it. There, I've said it. <laughs> Probably... A horse that is being beaten to death in this episode but it is something I actually mentioned it on a, on a, a, a forum on Facebook about how I did not like the uh, monkey suit and uh, had several people you know like well I you're the only person that doesn't and I you know I there were a couple of people in support of me but maybe I am in the minority what do you think do you like the werewolf version of the Beast in the movies. Maybe I should just accept the fact that this is the movie version of the Beast, not the comic book version, and go with it. And for the most part, I do. It doesn't take that much enjoyment away from watching these movies, but I just feel like if they done, if they could do a CGI version of the Beast, it would just be so much better. So much better. So I'm Kevin. That was my commentary. What are your thoughts? You like the beast in the movies with the werewolf looking fur? Would you rather see something CGI? How do you feel about the proliferation of CGI in the superhero movies? I think it's a good thing. This is why we get to see them now. I, I believe. Nothing against, like I say, good old fashioned Hollywood makeup artists that they do a great job and this is no disrespect. I'm just saying for this particular character, the beast, I think CGI is the right way to go. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below. We're going to talk more about this stuff as more of these movies come out, I'm sure, in the future. And if you want to hear about those and what I want to rant on about or what I don't like about it or what I do like about it or whatever, why don't you click on that subscribe button and you make sure you get to see all this stuff. So until next time, I hope you have a great day. You really should because, you know, days can be great. And if you are not having a great one, turn it around, make it one. All right? I said so. All right. Take it easy. We'll see you.